Should I save this money? You finally made it. All these years, come rain or storm, the Crux fleet has never suffered a delay. If it were anyone else, I might have set sail already. <laughs> Don't look too serious, I'm only joking. You're just on time. The crew have just finished making final preparations. <sighs> well, now that everyone's here, we set sail for the land engulfed by storm and tempest. The nation of eternity. Ahoy there.
So, you finally made it. You sure kept me waiting, Captain. And it appears we have a couple of stowaways. Or perhaps I should say, honored guests. <laughs> Shush! You can blame your almighty Shogun. The tempests around Inazuma have been growing all the more fierce lately. Though the fleet was fully up to the challenge, the inclement weather still caused some delay. Now then, let me introduce everyone. This is Toma, a trade partner that I've gotten to know recently. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. Toma, these two are... Oh, no need for introductions. Their reputation precedes them. It seems even the stormy seas can't keep rumors of these outlander sterling deeds at bay. <laughs> oh, it's sure nice to hear you say that! <laughs> With any luck, it'll give you a head start here. Toma's resided on Rito for quite some time now. It wouldn't be going too far to say he's the fixer around these parts. If you run into any problems here, just talk to Toma. But if he tries to pull any moves on you, I'll be sure to deal with him personally the next time I'm around. <laughs> no need to worry. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Good. Then if it's all settled, I'll be going. I wouldn't want to be caught with my sails down here. I do have a wanted fugitive on board, after all. Oh, right. Kazuha. Until next time, Traveler. Remember to give it your all, no matter what perilous storms you may encounter. Fair seas, Captain Beto! Now then, first things first. We need to go get you registered at the border checkpoint. Um, Paimon thought we were supposed to be keeping things on the down low. Are we just gonna walk into the government's hands? <laughs> Don't underestimate the reaches of the Sokoku Decree. You wouldn't be able to avoid inspection even if you tried. So we have to play by the rules, even if we're kind of bending them. <laughs> 